So this question is talking about percentage decrease. So how do we find the percentage decrease? So in 2016, it is 100%. And since they said in 2017, it's an increase by 6%. So we know that in 2017, it would be 100 plus 6, which is 106%. So now we can see that they want us to find out the fee in 2016. So let's say that's x. So x equals to 100%. And in 2017, the fee was 79.5 equals to 106%. Now you can just cross multiply, giving you... 106 to percent wait no sorry so it's a hundred percent times with 79.5 over 106 percent so now we can change the percentage into decimal so there'll be a 1 times 79.5 over 1.06 put that into your calculator and you should get a value of 1.06 so the fee in 2016 was 75. So in this next question, they're asking about lower bounds and upper bounds. So this is correct to the nearest 10 and this is nearest 5. So now they're asking us to calculate the lower bound. So the lower bound of 40 correct to the nearest 10 would be 35. And the lower bound for 30 correct to the nearest 5 would be 27.5 because half of 5 is 2.5 so 30 minus 2.5 gives you 27.5. Okay, so now we're just going to multiply that. So 35 times 27.5 gives us an answer of 967 point. Wait, that is wrong. Let me just write again. 962.5. So our final answer is 962.5. Now let's move on to the next question. And as you can see, there is a Venn diagram given. Let me just read the question. Okay. Find the number of members using only the tennis court. So the keyword here is only. So it's 16. Our answer would be 16. Next question, find the number of members using the swimming pool. So notice how they didn't say only, so now we know that it would be all of this. So 5 plus 4 plus 8 plus 33. that would be 50 so our answer is 50 so the next question is a member using the sample chosen at random find the probability that the member also uses the tennis court and the exercise machine so we know that the total for the swimming 
members is 50 so it would be something over 50 and right over here you can see that there are four members who uses all three so it would be 4 over 50 which you can simplify to 2 over 25 So our answer would be 2 over 25. So moving on to the next question, they're asking to find the number of people. So this is using the tennis court. So where the tennis court intersects the, the union of the exercise machine and the simple so as you can see it intersects right over here so since we're finding the number now we can just add up seven and eight and four so that would be seven plus eight sorry plus four plus eight giving us an answer of 19. so our final answer is 19.